Okay, in this problem, chapter 3b, number 23, we're given this diagram here with some parallel lines in them, and uh, we got to figure out what angle 1 and 2 measure. Um, so, there are a few different ways of doing this. Uh, one of them would be, let's see here. Well, I'm looking at this line and this line that are parallel. And the fact that this line helps form that 85 degree angle right here. So I'm going to even write the 85 here. Now I'm going to move these green lines over here. And if you look at them, now remember these are parallel. So if you look at them, I've got this angle and this angle here. And those angles are same side interior angles. And if these, since these lines are parallel, they give me same side interior angles that are supplementary. So that means that what this angle has to add up with this one to get 180 degrees. So 180 equals 85 plus whatever I want to call this. I'll call it x. x. So that's going to make x 95 degrees. So I'm going to put a 95 here. Right there. OK. So let me get rid of this for now. Okay, so now I need to figure out uh, something else in the picture. So if we look right here, this angle combined with the 95 and the 30 is going to have to add up to 180 since it's a straight angle. So 30 plus 95 plus, I'll call this one y, equals 180. So this is going to be 125 plus y equals 180. So then y is going to be 55. So this angle right now is 55 right here. OK, now I can get angle 1 pretty easily because I just have a triangle right here. And so I can do 55 plus 90 plus measurement of angle 1 equals 180. So 55 and 90 is 145. So angle 1 is going to be 35 degrees. Oops, I should just leave that there. OK, so let me get some of this stuff out of the way. OK, so we got one angle left, angle 2 here. Um, well, let me do this. Let's look at these parallel lines, because we haven't looked at these yet. OK. So if I look at these two and this transversal here, right, remember this is 90 down here. Let me move these. Whoops, brought some of the work with me. All right, let me get rid of the 35, the 55 for a second. And these are the two arrowed parallel lines. But if you look at this angle, that's 90. This is its same side interior angle. So these two should be supplementary. And so this one up here also has to be 90. OK, so now if I put this back, right? we knew angle 1 was 35 degrees, and this total angle is 90. So the leftover part here has to be 55. OK, let's erase some of these parts now. Now if you look back here, here's one line, here's another line, here's a transversal with these parallels. So just like with the 85 and the 95 that we did at the beginning, this 55 and this angle here are also same side interior angles, so they should be supplementary too. So 55 plus angle 2 here have to be 180. So this ends up being 125, right there. Uh, I'll show you one other way of getting angle 2. So s I've had some students do this, where they actually extend this line until it hits down here. And they've extended the bottom line as well. So they can figure out that this is 95, 
and then you use this triangle right here to get this angle which is 55 and then you can figure out this angle next to it would have to be 125 and then this part I think is clever if you look right here you've got this stretched out backward Z shape which we've mentioned in class are alternate interior angles so then this one's 125 Okay, hope that helps.